Imagine this. You walk into a shop. You step up to the counter and tell the shopkeeper exactly what you want. The shopkeeper smiles, listens carefully, and starts gathering items from the shelves. He wraps them up nicely so nothing breaks and writes a note in a language your friend will understand. Then he opens a record book and says, I'm starting a session for you. I'll keep track of these items until you're finished. Now he calls a delivery service. They look at all the items and say, We'll split these into smaller boxes and number them so we don't lose anything. The boxes travel on different routes. Trucks choose highways and back roads to make sure the packages get there fast and safe. At the post office, they scan each box, put barcodes and stick address labels so the machines know where to send them. Finally, trucks and airplanes carry those boxes across roads and skies until your friend receives them. Why did I tell you that story? Because the internet does exactly the same thing in layers. Let me show you. This is called the OSI model. Seven layers that work together to make the internet run. Let's go through them, one by one. First, the application layer. This is what you see and use. Your browser, apps like Chrome or WhatsApp, protocols like HTTP and HTTPS. It's where you say, hey, I want to visit this website. That's you walking into the shop and telling the shopkeeper what you want. Next, the presentation layer. This layer makes sure the data is in a form both sides can understand. It handles encryption, decryption, compression. For example, turning raw data into a secure, readable format. That's when the shopkeeper wraps your items carefully and writes a note in a language your friend understands. Then we have the session layer. It sets up, manages, and ends the connection. It keeps track of your session so the server remembers who you are while you browse. For example, staying logged in while you move between pages. That's the shopkeeper opening a record book, starting a session for you, and keeping track of everything until you're done. Next is the transport layer. It breaks your data into segments and makes sure they all arrive safely, using protocols like TCP. It's all about reliable delivery. That's when the delivery service splits your items into smaller boxes and numbers them so none are lost. Then comes the network layer. It figures out the best route for your data. It deals with IP addresses and routing. For example, deciding how to get your data from Sri Lanka to a server in another country. That's the truck choosing highways or back roads to make sure the package reaches your friend. Next is the data link layer. It adds physical addresses, MAC addresses, and checks for errors within the local network. It makes sure the data frame is ready for the physical layer. That's the post office worker adding barcodes and labels on each package so machines know where to send them. And finally, the physical layer. This is the hardware, cables, Wi-Fi signals, fiber optics, actually moving the bits across the network. That's the trucks and airplanes physically carrying your boxes to their destination. So next time you open a website, remember, Behind the scenes, your data is going through seven layers, just like our shop story. Application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. They work together to make the internet possible.